Hello Eden Hope Church kids, my name's Lauren and today I'd like to talk to you about contentment or feeling content. Now, the word content means to feel satisfied, happy with our circumstances or situations and what we have. Now, I describe the feeling of contentment as a little bit like when you have a long day and you get into your bed, oh, and you pull over the duvet and it feels warm and peaceful and happy. Now, it's easy to feel content when we have everything that we want, but actually it's quite tricky uh, when we see people with things or you know, having experiences that actually you would like to have and you, and you don't have. It might, you might think, oh my goodness, that person's got a phone and I don't have a phone or that person has Heelys and I want Heelys. And actually that makes us feel discontent. So that's the opposite of content, unhappy. The Bible teaches us that Jesus allows us to be content in our circumstances, even when we don't have everything we think we want. Jesus is the answer for everything. And actually, if we have him, we have all we need. Somebody who was super content in the Bible is the Apostle Paul. Now, Paul was put in prison, actually just for sharing the good news about Jesus. And so he was locked away, but even in a prison where he didn't know if he'd ever escape or be let out or actually even live, he was able to write letters to other people to encourage them. I'm going to read from my Bible now, from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 11. And it says, Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full or empty stomach, with plenty or with little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Wow. I don't know if I'd feel content if I was locked away in a prison just for sharing the gospel. One of the ways to help us feel content is to be thankful for the things that we do have. We can be thankful for the home that we live in, for our parents, for our brothers and sisters and friends. We can be thankful for every meal and we could be thankful for the toys we have and the clothes we have. And actually that helps us to concentrate on feeling happy and satisfied with what we do have and not worry or be envious of what we don't have. God bless you.